Hi guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching. Mostly saying I am Projecta. Welcome back to another Thursday. How are you? I am. Anywho, so this Thursday I thought I'd do something that was pending for like a very very long time. I'd written the I'd written the I don't know what I had written this script away back and I thought it's high time okay it's high time I make a video about it so today you and me are going to be talking about reasons why I that that usually stands for we can't sleep at night okay let's go number one is phone hypnosis now we both know that no matter how tired how sleepy or how exhausted we are we are not going to hit the bed without scanning each and every social media platform like ever. I swear to god sometimes I feel like I'm squinting because I stare at my phone in pitch darkness every night. Is that true? Look at me. Is that true? People say I'm a little squint. I don't think so. Number two are whacked out thoughts. This by far is the most dreaded situation that happens to each and every one of us when you're trying to get to bed. I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't know what our brain is thinking like, hmm, I don't think I have done much work all day. I don't think I worked when I really had to work. But now that I don't have anything to do, maybe I should just go wild with imagination. I don't understand how our brain can reach even things that we've never experienced or thought of. You and I both know how much our brain wanders when we are sleeping, like we are lying there staring at the ceiling like oh my god did i lock the door oh my god uh, i think i did yeah i did oh my memory sucks look at this fan ew i really need to clean it fan you know who i'm a fan of a rithic a russian maybe i should look him up on instagram maybe a shirtless selfie or something he might have uploaded where's my phone oh man it's charging never mind so just thinking, he's 42, I'm 23, so that makes him 20, 47, 8, 8, 87, 87 years elder? He's 87 years elder to me, oh my god. Oh man, that boat has sailed. But you know what I think? I think I gave up a little too early on Shahid Kapoor. I mean, his wife is a year younger to me, like, oh my god, does that mean that could have actually happened if I didn't give up? Number three is sudden creativity. Now, I don't know if it's just me or does this happen to everybody, but I swear to God, I cannot even count the number of times I have just been lying in bed, possibly sleepy before I entered my bedroom. And once I hit the bed, I'm like, <laughs> fresh as a daisy. And when that happens, my mind starts wandering to things I have not tried, you know, arts or talents that I may not know I have. And that's when I get all of my paints and my canvases and my frames and my paper and I, I suddenly get creative. Like suddenly I want to be an artist. Suddenly I want to make masterpieces and hang in my room. And it's not just art, okay? Origami, fashion shows. I, I cannot even tell you how many times I wake up in the middle of the night and I try out all the clothes I already have worn before. Oh, I, I, hmm. Tell me it's not just me, please. Number four is uncertain hunger pangs. Like all through the day, you could eat whatever comes your way. Is this edible? Okay, that's fine. But at night, no. Night, suddenly your hunger is too classy to be mediocre and middle class like you and me. Like that's the kind of hunger which does not go away with like omelette bread or bread butter or a kela. No, <laughs> no. It's demanding and obsessive and an impromptu addition for MasterChef Australia. So you will see yourself experimenting with each and every ingredient that you have in your kitchen. Just like, hmm, let me just throw this in and see how it is. You will put up all of your cookery show performances just like, all right, so we're gonna finally chop the onion and throw it in the saucepan and we're gonna let the onion saute till they caramelize and they're nice and brown. And, hmm, can you hear that? Yeah, the doctor says I'll be fine. And now finally the beast is paranoia. Now, there's being scared, there's being petrified, there's being restless, and then there's lying in your bed wide awake at 3 a.m. thinking of, monsters and predators and unhumanly things. I swear to God, it's <laughs> amusing how paranoia slowly and gradually turns into hallucination. Like your brain makes you see things that are definitely not there. And you know what's the fun part? You know they're not there and you still see them. No, mm -hmm. what was that? Nothing, it was nothing. Just go to ah! bug. Bug, it's a bug, it's a rather huge bug. Wave it off, that's it, wave it off. 
Okay, there's nothing to be scared about. Okay, whoever you are, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do anything wrong to you. And is, is, is that a face? Is that a face? No, that's not a face. No, no, it's not a face. It's a shadow. It's a shadow. <laughs> that's okay. You're not scared. You're fine. There are no monsters there. All right. Yeah, no, I think there are. I can hear voices. Don't speak to me. I don't want to speak to you. Oh my God. All right, so that was five reasons why I cannot I know I know why we cannot sleep at night there are trazillion other reasons why that's gonna happen because come on you and me are all shades of crazy so put that in the comments below and educate each other okay if you like this video give it a big fat thumbs up don't forget I come up with new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday until I see you again <laughs> love love oh mera piya ghar aya oh ram ji jo जो जाने तू जान तू ये जाने नान ना 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 मेरे बेरी के बेर मत तोड़ो ड ए ड से क्या गाना ए ड है तो अच्छा ओके डम डम डिगा डिगा मौसम भिगा भिगा अरे ले मैं तो चला ले लो लो बस लो ओ लेला तेरी ए एक मिनट आ पहले तो ये चिप गाना नहीं गाने का ऐसे और ओ लेला तेरी ओ से शुरू होता है लो ए ऐसे चीटिंग नहीं करेगा मैं चीटिंग मेरे को चीटर मत बोला तो चीटर है ओके चीटिंग नहीं करती हूँ यार अरे यार ऐसा मत कर यार ओ माई गॉर आई नी Need help.